Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is simple pendulum. So friends, simple pendulum, a pendulum is a device made of weight suspended from a pivot so that it can sw swing freely. When a pendulum is displaced side away from its resting equilibrium positions, it is subject to a restoring force due to gravity that will accelerate it back towards in equilibrium positions so friends you see that it is this is the simple pendulum here it is pivot and and in here you see that i displaced side away from its resting position what is the resting position resting position is perpendicular okay this this, this axis is perpendicular okay now now friends you will see that how it is moved i create a small animation that observing that this is the this, this way it is moved okay this is the simple pendulum our formula is period of pendulum is equal to t is equal to 2 pi root over l by g where l is equal to pendulum length g is equal to accelerant acceleration due to gravity pi is pi and t equals to period So friends, I hope that you can see my small animation video. Video. This is the simple pendulum is very very important for physics. Okay, and mechanical arrangement. Mechanical arrangement. I will. I will. I will teach that. So friends, now you you see that this is the effective length. Okay, and this is the friction lens pivot in here. This is the effective friction lens pivot, and this is total effective length in my in my 3D model. Okay, so now this is the path, and this this point is the equilibrium. Okay, equilibrium position. This is the equilibrium position or resting position. This is the resting positions in my in my videos. Okay, so friends. I hope you can visualize my work. Now I will go to discuss total work. Now you see that I have already told that period of, period of the pendulum is t equals to 2 pi root over l by g. Okay. Where t equals to period, l equals to pendulum length and g equals to acceleration due to gravity now this is bob you have already seen that this is a bob okay in my three dimensional videos okay and this is the frictionless pivot and this is the length of the pendulum okay and this is the length of the pendulum okay now the the angle make with the resting positions is theta okay theta is angle and mg sin theta force is opposite and mg cos theta is this and f is and where sin theta is equivalent to theta okay t is equal to mg cos theta f is equal to minus mg sin theta f is external force okay i have already created you you, you will see that i use some external force this is my external force okay so the regular motion of pendulums was used used for time keeping and was the world most accurate time keeping technology until the 1930s pendulum clock clock invented by christian Huygens. okay okay so Christian Huygens in 1656 became the world standard timekeeper used in, 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 in homes and, and, and office for 270 years and achieved accuracy of about one second per year before it was superseded as time standard 
by the quartz clock in 1930s. Pendulum are also used in scientific instrument such as accelerometers, seismometers. Historically, they are used as gravimeters to measure the accelerations of gravity in geophysics survey and even as a standard of length the word pendulum is neo latin from the latin pendulas meaning hanging simple gravity pendulum you have you have seen simple gravity pendulum is an idealized mathematical model of a of, of a pendulum this is weight bob and the end of a massless cord suspended from a pivot without friction and when give a, given an initial push it, it it will swing back and forth at the constant amplitude real pendulums are subject to friction and air drag so the amplitude of the swings declines So friends, you have already seen that the total equation, this is the external force which is mg theta, equivalent to mg theta. Now, now we will learn the equation. S is equal to L theta because we know this is the relationship between the linear linear straight line and or, and another and v is equal to ds by d theta and, and a is equal to l into d square theta divided by dt dt square and equation of pendulum is these equations thanks for watching i hope it is clear that d square theta divided by dt square is equal to plus g by l theta is equal to zero this is the equations of pendulum i hope i can give some idea and it is clear for everyone so the presence of accelerations of gravity g in the periodicity equations okay for pendulum means that the local gravitational acceleration of the earth can be calculated from the period of a pendulum a pendulum can therefore be used gravimeter to measure the local gravity and which varies by over 0.5 percent across the surface of the earth So friends, uh, I hope it is clear and you have to know that British scientist Francis Bacon was one of the first to propose using a pendulum to measure gravity and suggesting taking, taking one up a mountain to see if gravity varies with altitude. 1620 and 1644 for, uh, for even before the pendulum clock, French priest Marine Marcin Sen Sen first determined the length of the second pendulum was 39.1 inches and by comparing the swing of a pendulum to the time it took a weight weight to fall a measured distance and he also was first to discover the dependence of the pendulum amplitude of swing okay so Thanks for watching. I hope it is clear for everyone and you enjoy my work.